Hi guys, um, so I've done a video for you all. Um, the video I've had to break up into a few sections because Instagram only allows short videos on. However, I, I am putting a whole video on YouTube so you can watch the whole thing there if you want. I'm also gonna do a competition with the video. So if you would like to win some hair products that are tailored for your hair type that I will choose for you, um, all you need to do is like the video, share the video and tag in three friends underneath that you think would benefit from the video. Hi guys, um, so I did a question um, thing the other day on my story and I got asked an insane amount of questions, so thanks so much. Um, I thought I'd put it all in a video for you because it'd be a lot easier for you to understand and I can explain it in a little bit more detail than just a few sentences as a reply. Um, how can I cut my own hair at home is the first one. I had this a few times. Um, guys, please don't cut your own hair at home. I know we're in lockdown, I know all salons are shut. Um, I know it's hard to get to curly salons and everything, but please, please, please don't cut your own hair. Um, obviously, there are a few people that have done it and it has been successful, but I have seen so many uh, disasters from people cutting their hair. You have to know what you're doing. Um, like you always say, you go when you go to stylists that don't um, specialise in curly hair, you find that they're not able to cope with it. If you don't have any knowledge about hair and the way it works, um, it, you're, you're going to struggle. So please, please, please do not cut your hair at home. Um, and the other one is how do I colour my hair at home? That one's been asked a few times. Um, again, please don't colour your hair at home. It's There's a lot of knowledge that goes into colouring. Um, so much so, years of training and understanding how colour works with hair. And if you go and put a box dye on your hair uh, when you normally go to a salon and you ruin it, it can take a very long time to fix. It may be able to be fixed in the first session or it may take you know a year plus to fix it. You may need to have your hair stripped, which is obviously damaging for your hair, so please, there's nowhere to go, there's no weddings, there's no parties, there's no nothing, guys. Um, so please don't colour your hair at home. If you've got uh, natural grey hair and it's making you feel uncomfortable and you do want to do something about that, there are a lot of um, products out there such as, we use Colour Wow in the salon. Um, so it's like um, a little palette and it's got a brush in it. You can literally just stroke it onto your roots. It's brilliant, it's waterproof, it comes out when you shampoo your hair. Um, but that's what we use in the salon and there are some sprays and things you can get out there so please just avoid at all costs if you um, do a little google into home dyeing uh, lockdown onto YouTube there are some videos of people that have done it and it's come out horrendously wrong um, it can cost a lot of money to fix and a lot of time so please don't do that um, can I book an online consultation yes I'm working on something trying my hardest to um, get something together it's gonna make it a lot easier for you guys um, where are you from? <laughs> um, I'm from Bristol in the UK. Um, if you're wondering what's in my blood, I'm half English, half Irish. Um, but otherwise, I was born and raised in Bristol. Love it here, great city if you're not from here. Um, how can I keep my curls from, from coming looser over a day? Okay, so this is a common problem. Uh, my curls do become not looser over a day, but flatter, so I generally rough them up again. Um, but product is a really important one. So you wanna make sure you've got products in your hair that are going to hold the curl, but not weigh it down. Um, so things like gels and stuff, if you've got fine hair, you can use something like a texture tonic or a volumizing tonic on the root or like a mousse or something like that. But um, there is no, gravity is against us, I'm afraid, so there is no magic cure. Do you follow the curly girl method? Um, no, I don't follow the curly girl method. Um, I have nothing against curly girl method as such. I think it's a great start for people that don't have a clue about anything. But I do think that if you follow the curly girl method continuously, you, you will start to have problems with your hair. Um, that I've seen with clients, so no, we don't follow that. Um, I'll explain that all in another video as well, because I get asked that one quite a lot too. How long have you been a hairdresser? Is there any other job you'd like to do? So I've been hairdressing forever. Um, I started when I was 15 in school. I used to do um, Saturdays and evenings in a salon. Um, and literally since as young as I can remember, there's a video of me at the age of six where I was saying I wanted to be a hairdresser. Um, and I used to get told off all the time for going into school late and having beautiful wedding put-ups in my hair. Um, so yeah, literally forever. And if I didn't do this job, I wanted to be a marine biologist. <laughs> it was a bit different, or a vet. Um, a marine biologist, I loved killer whales. So I, I, yeah, I did want to do that. Property developing, I'd love to get into that one day. Architecture, I love architecture and buildings and structure and things like that. So you never know, I might change my career. <laughs> um, what do you guys do to the hair for it to be so alive and curly at the end? Okay, so it's a mixture of things. It completely depends on what you come in with um, and what you sit down in the chair with. Um, some of our guests, they have the full works. They go for treatments, colour, cuts, everything. But just having the right cut, guys, and knowing what products to use in your hair can make a huge difference. We have guests that come in that have never seen their hair curl. 
they just put up with frizz. If you see from our before and afters. And just treating it right, giving it a bit of love and it will just come alive. My hair is a really hard time curling on top these days. It just doesn't stay. Any ideas? Um, so it's difficult to say without seeing your hair, but have you got any damage to the hair? Is it damaged from colour? Is it damaged from facing the sun? Did you use to straighten your hair and you're new to this? Have you, do you get regular cuts? Um, how long is your hair? And it depends how curly your hair is because if your hair's not that curly and it gets long, it can get heavier, which will loosen the curl. So the best bet is to go to a curly salon 100% and they'll be able to guide you and help you out um, with that. There are definitely techniques we can do to show you how to get that back to being curly again. Um, when do you reopen? I will fly from the United States to the UK. Wow, <laughs> I get more and more people coming from really far away and it's so overwhelming. Um, we don't have a clue, sadly. I don't have a clue when we're gonna reopen. I don't think anybody has a clue when they're gonna reopen. We're just following all the government guidelines, um, waiting and hoping that all of this will go away as fast as possible. Um, but we all have to just do what we have to do and do our part at the moment, be safe, keep your family safe, stay in, guys. Don't get tempted, like it's nice and sunny today. And it's been a couple of weeks now and it's quite tempting to say, oh, if you've been safe and I've been safe, come over, let's all get in the garden and have a drink. But um, just be safe, guys. Don't, well, I'm really sorry. Don't. As soon as I know when we're reopening, we're going to have a, I don't know if we'll have a big party straight away, but I'll have a big party at some point and then um, we'll obviously take safety precautions from then on and we'll let you know, guys know when we're going to reopen. Um, how does the blonde colour you use not damage the hair as much as bleach? Um, so bleach is quite harsh, it's quite a harsh um, thing to use on the hair. Um, you're guaranteed to get the lift with the bleach, see, um, depending on what you want to go. If you want to go from black to white blonde, you're not guaranteed. But if you want to get some nice blonde highlights in your hair, you've got the guarantee with bleach. It's a, it's a safe bet, a quick to go to, grab it, you know you're going to get there. Um, it, it's a true colourist will know how to get hair light without using bleach. Um, Colouring is a real art, it's a real skill and it took me years to perfect. Um, my skill of colouring, but there's definitely ways to get hair light and quite light without using bleach. And um, we use a Veda colour at the salon, it's plant based. Um, the colours are amazing, the colours give so much shine, so much nutrients into the hair. Um, so we're depositing a lot into the hair and we're depositing tone as we're lifting. We also don't have to use a, as high of a peroxide as we probably would with bleach. Um, and I just find that the hair lasts like my hair, I haven't put any bleach in it for ages, I just use. Um, the tints that we use and just the condition and the shine and everything you get the shine is incredible That's the other thing you don't get as much shine with bleach um, But I find with the colors that Aveda made and created the stunning colors you definitely do um, They're by far the best color Colors that I've ever used out of any and I've worked with um, quite a few color brands out there um, Do you finger coil your curls? Um, no so no, we get this a lot as well. We get a lot of people saying that we're tonguing all of our pictures in our, in our curly before and afters um, and that we're perming them and that's not people's real curls. We don't finger coil curls unless we have to. So say somebody comes to me in an extremely damaged hair, um, never been wearing their hair curly, um, straightening it for years and stuff and you can tell it's all kicking out, it's spitting. We will advise them to finger coil their hair if they need to just to help start training it, but the way your finger curl won't be the exact way your curl goes. Um, we do have a method for trying our best to follow the curl pattern, but it won't be the exact same way. 99.9% um, .9 of our clients are just raked and scrunched. We don't do any finger coiling. Um, or say somebody's got curly hair all over, but then they've got that one bit at the front that just doesn't ever curl, we'll recommend that they finger coil that area there. Um, deep conditioning treatment for my really frizzy hair. I want my curls back that I have lost. So this sounds like more than a deep conditioning treatment to me. Um, if you've lost your curl, that says uh, alarm bells to me. So there could be many, many reasons. It could be that your hair is damaged. It could be from colouring. It could be from having a baby. It could be from medication. It could be from anything. There's so many reasons. And a deep, if you've completely lost your curl, I don't think a deep conditioner is going to be enough. So I would get into a curl at your salon. Um, Maybe go and have an Olaplex treatment and a protein treatment and a moisture treatment. Just have the whole shebang. Get a nice cur cut for your curls because literally a little tiny cut on curls will make them come back alive. They just fly like wildfire. It's crazy. So um, I would book into a salon. Um, your before and afters are incredible. Do you have any styling videos? 
Yeah, so um, I do. I'm trying my hardest to do more for you now that we're in lockdown. But if you look on my Instagram page and go to the IGTV bit in the middle, you'll find that I'm starting to post more and more um, styling videos for you. And I'll do different ones on different days and use different products so you can see the results of what they do. Um, I'm trying to get my curls back. Is it okay to blow dry my hair straight occasionally? Um, so I would probably recommend no. Not if, you, if you're trying to get your curls back, it sounds like your hair's struggling. Um, I do blow dry my hair straight. And my hair's quite healthy and my hair's really strong and I really look after my hair. Um, I never use straighteners on my hair, but I do give my hair like a big bouncy blow dry sometimes. Like, I had it a couple of weeks ago. Um, so I would probably say no for now, but when if, you, if you're a curly hair lady and you got good, strong, healthy hair, there's no reason you can't. Just keep the heat low and concentrate on small sections and don't be tempted to um, use a straightener on it. Um, obviously, every time you do things with your hair, it can upset it slightly, but it's not gonna kill your curls. They're not gonna just disappear and never come back. Um, but keep the heat low. Your, what, what do you guys do to the hair for it to be so alive? So again, it's just cutting it, giving it a good shape, treating it with the right products, giving it a lot of love, the correct amount of moisture, um, the, holding it all in, using products that will lock it all in. Um, there's many, many things that we do. We, yeah, we really work hard in the salon with all of our guests. And um, but the thing is, when you come to us, we'll show you. Um, so when we reopen, hopefully some of you will come back, <laughs> and uh, we'll we show you step by step what we do and how how you can do it and what would be best for your hair. Is there any products that can make straight hair wavy or? do such thing or not exist um so you can perm your hair obviously but there is a way i've got a, a lady who uh, she's got straight hair poke straight hair it literally you don't even have to put a brush through it you can literally just blast it and it will just dry poker dead like solid straight um i've tried putting like round brush blow dries into it and all sorts of stuff before and it just doesn't want to do anything but i did uh, use this one day it was a little experiment and it went really really well so this is the Aveda Texture Tonic. This is amazing. Um, I sprayed the hair to death with the Aveda Texture Tonic, and I mean a lot, an awful lot. She had quite fine hair. Um, and then I just took the hair into big, maybe, maybe one and a half inch section squares on the head, and I, I twisted it, like co completely coiled it, twisted it, 100%, all the way over. Then I think I sprayed it a bit more, and then I diffused the hair as you would as if you had curly hair. And she had the most amazing beach waves. Now this isn't gonna last you, this is gonna last a couple of days, um, but if you want permanent curls, you'll have to get it permed. But the texture tonics is good. It's a good one um, for you to, and don't use too much conditioner. If you suffer from really straight hair, don't overload it with heavy products and conditioner either. Um, how can I get my curls more defined and curly? So again, just the right balance of products, you want to use um, a good shampoo, um, sulfate free mostly. Sometimes if you feel that you really get a bad build up, you can use some more gentle sulfate, natural sulfates uh, that will lift that out. Um, and that will help to get your curls bouncier. And then um, using the right products like if you need curl creams, gels, uh, mousses, it's, it really depends on the individual person. Love following your page by the way, your page is unreal. <laughs> Thank you very much, it makes my day. Um, my hair is always dry and frizzy, help me. So again, products guys, give it some love. Um, do some deep conditioning treatments, make sure you've got the right balance of protein and moisture. Um, how can I have healthy curly hair like yours? <laughs> Thank you. Um, same thing, uh, I, what do I do with my hair? I probably wash my hair every six days. I refresh my hair every, uh, maybe not the second day, I don't refresh it. The third day I'll probably refresh it slightly. Fourth day, I refresh it loads, um, and then fifth day, a lot more. And then when I feel like the refreshing isn't going so well, I'll, I'll wash it. Um, I generally refresh with just water and a bit of um, style prep or maybe some conditioner. That's a B Curly Style Prep from Veda. Um, and I don't dry it on the between days. Maybe to finish it off if I get into work and it's still a tiny bit damp, I will just quickly finish it off for five minutes, but don't dry it every day, guys. Um, how can I find a curly hairdresser? So I get emails, um, messages all the time asking me if I know any curly stylists all around the world. Um, I'm sorry, I don't. I know there's some in New York. I know there's some in um, uh, California. I know, but I don't know. I know there's one in New Zealand, but I don't know all of them. I only know a couple. Um, but the best bet is to Google search. Go on to Google and just Google search curly hair salon and then wherever you are. And then when you found them, um, go to their page 
go to their social media or their gallery or they'll have portfolios, have a look, look at their work and see if it's the kind of curly cuts that you think would suit you because people cut curls differently and d different kind of shapes and things. Everyone has their own style. Every hairdresser has their own way. How do you make your client's hair so glossy and defined? Again, so if you, um, so this is one, so if you want to get shiny curls, you need to get your cuticles as flat as possible. So cuticles sit on your hair like roof tiles. Um, and when they're damaged or when your hair's not moisturized enough or you've not got enough protein, all the cuticles sit open so the light doesn't reflect very well off your hair. If you get your cuticles closed a lot more, they don't, they don't fully close, but they literally sit like this. How do I do it? So they sit very slightly open like this all the time. If you get them all facing like that, um, happy, then the light will reflect off your curls mm -hmm. well and you'll get mm -hmm. more shine. You're also locking in that moisture more, which is brilliant. Um, not a question, but you are amazing. The work you're doing is by far the best I've seen. You're the curl queen. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, I'm not great at taking compliments, but I really appreciate all the amazing, lovely, kind, warm-hearted messages you guys are giving me, especially now. It's a really, really rubbish, horrible time and uncertain time. I don't know what, what's going on in the future. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Best way to tie a pineapple. Um, as loose as possible. Um, I think those hairbands that look like old phone cords, um, what are they called, like Invisi Bobble, stuff like that, they're really good. Um, if you can, just get away with one, like put it around the hair once. Don't use those really tiny little um, thin bands. Don't use those really thick big ones. Use something like medium range in the middle and just very loosely put pineapple at the top of your head. Um, can I get great curls without using a hairdryer? Yeah, 100%. I mean, I often um, try to leave my hair dry naturally. The way I do it is I'll go home on a wash day, wash my hair, put all your products in exactly the same way as you would if you were drying, scrunch it all and then just leave it. But this is the most important part. You must leave it 100%, not touch it. Maybe every now and again you give it a little scrunch just to see how it's doing. But if you're moving around and winds get into your hair and things are flapping around in your hair and you're cleaning the house, it's not going to dry nice and you'll be very disappointed. But then once it's fully dry, say if it's not dry, say 10 o'clock at night, half 10 when you're going to bed, finish it off with the dryer, then wrap it up and then scrunch it all out in the morning to loosen out all of the curl. Um, how do you use products um, to put into the hair to make it look amazing? So have a look, a look at our tutorials, guys. There's some on our IGT page and I am going to start putting more on YouTube. Um, that will show you how we put them in. What are the healthier options for highlights? So again, I would go with tinted highlights if you can. Uh, it depends on the base level and depends on how light you want to go with your highlights. Um, so a good colorist will know how to do that. How do you protect your hair at night? So again, I've got a video um, which I posted literally last week on my IGTV page, but I just wrap it in a vest top, but it'll show you there. My hair type is all over the place. Please help. I've got 2A, 3A hair. So most people have got a mixture of curls. Um, it's really, really common. There's very few guests that come in that have an even curl all over. Um, if it's all over the place, it tells me that it's not cut right. So you need to get a really good cut. Um, so again, book in when you finish. So concentrate now, getting your hair healthy, moisturised, learning how to feed it and get the products in there and lock in that moisture. And then that will really help your hair. By the time you go to have a cut and you've got those curls more defined, you'll get a better cut for your hair. Um, is Aveda Curly Girl approved? Um, so Aveda is an amazing brand. I love Aveda. It's not Curly Girl approved as such. There are products in Aveda that are um, Curly Girl friendly, um, there are products that are not, but I've been searching um, for my whole life for the best product brand and I have found it, like Aveda is by far the best product brand. Um, I will always try new products and I am always trying new products and if I find new products and I will add them to my line, um, but at the moment I'm using what works for us and what works for my clients and my clients hair is getting healthier, longer, stronger, thicker, curlier, um, yeah it's amazing, I'll do more on that. Um, silicones and all that kind of thing in another video. How do you dry client's hair? So when we do diffuse, um, we it takes a while. We use a low heat, a very low heat. You need to be able to hold your hand over that dryer consistently, the dryer being here and your hand being here. And if you can keep your hand there for a few minutes, that's a good heat. You don't want a heat that you're moving your hand away from. It's too hot. The lower the heat and the lower the speed, the better the curl is going to come out. If you're in a rush, you can use a higher speed. However, this can create a little bit more frizz. I personally don't care about that because I like a little bit of frizz in my hair because frizz gives me volume. So guys, don't be frightened of frizz either. Um, would you recommend a home repair? So 
sorry, losing my page. Uh, what hair wrap do you use? I use a vest top. Um, how long will the transitioning take before my curls look good? Um, this again varies hugely. It could take one go from you having a proper good wash and style to um, to a good few months, but the more you do it, the curlier your hair will get. If you follow what we show you in the salon and you keep it up and you're strict with it, it will get curlier and curlier. Um, your hair has been with you a long time, guys, so if you think how long, my hair's actually down to about here, bounced up loads. Um, that's been with me a long time. You need to look after it. You can't just expect to get out of bed and it to rock up, I mean, straight hair, to get it looking you know, really good cuts, really good colours, really good styles. It takes time. It's the same with curly hair. You need to look after it. You need to feed it, nourish it. What products and techniques do you use? So at the moment in the salon, we only use Aveda. We're strictly Aveda and Olaplex. Um, techniques, we're starting to show all on our IGT videos. Um, how do you get your curls looking so bouncy? Um, again, using the right amount of products, lightweight products. My, if you see, my curls are really nourished, really healthy, really happy. Um, but they're not weighed down. So when you refresh, don't use too much product, only use product if you feel you need to. Um, just about getting a balance, guys, all of it. What do you think about Diva Curl? Um, so Diva Curl actually approached me at the, I think it was the beginning of this year, maybe, no, it's the end of last year, and they sent me their whole product line. Um, I personally don't like it as much as Vader. And then obviously I know there's a lot of um, things going around online at the moment that Diva Curl's making everybody's hair fall out. Um, and people are going bold and it's completely changing their curl pattern and everything. And I have looked into this. Um, I'm not a chemist or a trichologist or anything like that. So um, I don't know the answer, but from what I've seen on their ingredient list, there's nothing there that screams alarm bells um, to me. And also I do the one thing I do know 100% I have seen hair loss and I definitely think it's from this is co-washing with um, just conditioner. Clients that come in and they just wash with the conditioner all the time, I've seen so many problems, more problems than I've ever seen with hair ever in my whole life. Please don't just condition your hair forever and that be it. You need to wash your hair sometimes and cleanse your scalp. It's really important to keep your health scalp, your, your scalp healthy. Um, but I can't say, I, I wouldn't mean we're not using the products because they're not what we want. Um, and I really do hope that the truth comes out finally because if there isn't Diva Curl's fault and all this has happened, their business is completely ruined. Um, but there's many reasons that can cause hair loss. There's so many reasons. Um, but again, I haven't looked into it far, that far enough to comment. Um, so I'm sorry, guys. Um, how do I train my curls? So it's again, just following the routine of putting products in, scrunching, not washing your hair every day, do not wash your hair every day. If you wash your hair every day and you're putting in loads of products, you're gonna cause more problems than good. Um, so don't be tempted to do that. If you wanna put a little bit more water into areas that look drier, that's fine. But guys, please don't wash your hair every day and be tempted to chuck the products in because it's easier when you get it looking better. Um, just keep it up and I promise you, it will benefit you and you will see in the future how amazing your curls will look. How do I find out what's causing my hair to flash dry? Um, so change your products, just have a little look at Try different products. Um, usually it's something with an ingredient in a product or you're using too much product. Um, try that first. And then if, if it's not that, try um, try letting your hair dry without any products and seeing what that does. But there's gonna be an ingredient in your products that, that you're either using too much of or that your hair doesn't agree with. Um, what are my favorite products? So my favorite absolute go-to products are the Aveda Co-Wash, by far. Please buy it like crazy so they bring back the liters. Again, <laughs> um, Be Cuddy Style Prep is amazing. Um, the Confixer Gel, I love. The Texture Tonic, I love. The Sap Moss Conditioner. Am I going too fast for you? You're trying to write this down. Um, I love the Invati. I love the Men's Invati. I use the Men's Shampoo today. Um, really like that one. The Invati is an incredible range. Um, there's not much I don't like, really. <laughs> uh, what products do you use to refresh? So I generally use water and either a tiny bit of conditioner, like if you're using conditioner, like minuscule, just enough to hydrate, or I love the Be Curly Style Prep to refresh. That's by far the best that I've come across so far. Um, best way to get bigger clumps for fine hair. Um, so leave more water in. If you want bigger clumps, leave more water in and make sure you're putting that product in. So scrunch it and use a good gel or something to hold those clumps, otherwise it will just all separate when it's ever straighten your hair or have you always been curly? Um, yeah, so I still blow dry my hair every now and again smooth. 
Um, I have worn my hair curlier than more than I used to purely because when I, you guys come to see me and I've got my hair blowed out, dried out smooth, you look like a terrified rabbit <laughs> in, in um, headlights in my chair because you don't recognise me. And um, you think that someone with straight hair is going to cut your curly hair and that Nula's not there today. So uh, I do wear it curlier more than I used to, but I love, I love wearing my hair smooth. I don't like it when it's straight, but I like wearing a really big bouncy blow dry. Um, and I have had hair, hair extensions before in the past, long, big hair extensions. Um, I love changing my hair colour. I've been all sorts of colours. I've been a hairdresser, you love to change. So I was thinking about getting curly hair extensions recently, but um, won't be possible for a few months now. Um, will going product free for lockdown loosen or worsen your curls? So I wouldn't recommend going product free because curls generally are a lot more dehydrated than straight hair. Um, our natural oils on our scalp can't travel down our hair as far because our hair coils so much. So I would definitely recommend making sure you're leaving in some conditioner um, as a bare minimum. Definitely. Beyond the questions, I love your content. Thank you. I've always been really nervous about doing this and uh, that's kind of why I put it off for a while. But the more you guys like it, the more I'll try and do for you. Um, do you perm hair? Um, so I used to when I was younger. We used to do loads of perm about the salon. Currently, we haven't been. Um, but I think it's something I'm going to introduce in the next six months because we're getting more and more um, demand for it and it's a bit silly really turning it away. So if you don't colour your hair and your hair's in good condition and all that, yeah, come on in. I used to perm like crazy in the old days, so hopefully I haven't forgotten the skill. But I will test it out before I do it on one of you guys. <laughs> Would you recommend an at-home Olaplex? Um, yeah, I think Olaplex is really good. It doesn't work for everybody, but on, say, 80% of to 90% of people, it works great for you. You only need Olaplex if your hair is damaged. It's a bond rebuilder. Um, if you've got great, healthy, strong hair, I mean, you can use it. There's always gonna be a little bit of damage in all hair types, but, um, I, and I, I recommend it as well if you've had the Olaplex number one in the salon. It's definitely great to follow up with at home. Um, will you ever open a salon in London? <laughs> um, I don't know, I keep getting asked this question too. Uh, I have two little boys who, um, how can I get rid of halo frizz? Um, so, halo frizz happens on everybody. Everyone has new healthy, new hair growing at the roots um, that's a lot shorter, so it can tend to stand on end, especially if you're like me, you like shake your hair out a lot. Um, I would just use a little bit of water in your hands, a little bit of a really light hold gel, really runny light hold gel, not a thick one, and just stroke that over your roots, um, mixed together. Um, how often do you use protein? Me personally, I use protein a lot. My, I might miss my appointment due to the virus. Is there anything I can do? Um, now, please just moisturize your hair. Don't cut it, don't color it, just leave it. Moisturize it, give it some love and that's it. Um, how do you dye your hair at home? Just don't. <laughs> You're amazing. Thank you, I love you. <laughs> how can I tell my hairdresser to cut my curly hair? Um, so I wouldn't tell a hairdresser how to cut hair because they, it might confuse them. Um, it's very difficult to explain how to cut hair. You need to be shown it. And it also, when we get new stylists at the salon and we start to show them how we cut curly hair, um, it terrifies the life out of them. So if you were to go in as a guest and say, I want my hair cut dry, can you please cut my hair curly? Uh, you're going to throw them out so much that they might then say, they'll either be honest with you and tell you, or they might go, yeah, okay, yeah, brilliant, sure, yeah, and think, I'll give this a go, it doesn't sound that bad. And then you're going to go out with really horrendous hair. So please don't try and tell your stylist how to cut your hair. If they're not curly trained, do not go to them because it could end in a disaster. Um, I love your style. Thank you. <laughs> um, does air drying leave the same curl results? It does, you may not get as much lift. Um, you definitely can get great, amazing defined curls. How can I hem, help my hair reach its full potential and avoid tangles? It's really, really long. So if you get a lot of tangles, so people with super fine hair get a lot of tangles, uh, would be quite frustrating. If your hair's over processed, you can get a lot of tangles. Or if your hair needs a really good cut. Usually if your hair's tangling, I'd definitely go and get a cut. Um, and if it's really long, it sounds like you need a lot more shape put in there to help you with that and get a lot more lift. Um, definitely go to a salon and, um, and speak to them and see what they can do for you. Should I diffuse with hot or cold air, fast or slow? So if you want the best looking um, to find curls, low and slow. So I do the lowest heat, meaning a heat, not, not cold. So like a lukewarm heat and um, slow air blow. If you've got really thick hair, I'd definitely go up on the air blow. Um, that's all the questions for now. Um, I hope I've not bored the life out of you. I hope it's been 
um, easy to understand and worth watching this video. 